I've installed some web fonts and incorporated them into custom font stacks, so let's start using them. I'm going to change the style of the body in this page, so select Edit Rule. At the moment, font family is set to Lucida Sans Unicode, Lucida Grande Sans Serif. I'm going to change that to one of my custom font stacks that contains a web font, Aurelant Sans Regular, Arial Helvetica Sans Serif, and just click OK. Now when I do that, several things happen in quick session. The first is that the font changes in design view, but this is not actually Aurelant Sans Regular. Dreamweaver doesn't support web fonts in design view, but live view does. So if I click on live view, you can see that the font is now being applied. Another thing that has happened is in the CSS styles panel, we now have stylesheet.css, which contains an at font face rule. I'll come back to that in a moment. The other thing that has happened is that in the files panel, Dreamweaver has created a new folder called web fonts. And if you expand that, inside there is a folder called Aurelant Sans Regular with an underscore where there's a space in the name of the font. And expand that. And here are all the different font formats and stylesheet.css, which relates to this particular web font. Before looking at that style sheet, I'm just going to open Split View. And you can see that at the top of the style block here, Dreamweaver has created an at import rule and it imports stylesheet.css from the web fonts Aurelant Sans regular folder. Because this is just a simple demonstration file, I embedded the style rules in a style block in the head of the document. So that's why the at import rule has been created here. If this style rule were in an external style sheet, the at import rule would have been placed at the top of the same style sheet. Dreamweaver always imports the style sheet for the web font into whichever file contains the style that uses the font. So now let's look at that stylesheet.css. And it contains an at font face rule that defines Aurelant Sans Regular as a font family. And these source properties tell the browser where to find the relevant files that contain the different formats of the font. The first one, EOT, is for older versions of Internet Explorer. The second one, EOT followed by the query string hash IE fix, is for newer versions of Internet Explorer. Then WAF, TTF and SVG are the formats used by other browsers. I'm now going to create a style rule for the level 1 heading. So, new CSS rule, B for a tag, the H1. It says in stylesheet CSS. I don't want it to be in stylesheet CSS. That's where the at font face rule for my other fonts is stored. So I want it to be with the other rule, which is in this document only. And I'm going to select this custom font stack, which contains the lobster font, brush script standard, Arial Helvetica Sans Serif, and just click OK. And Dreamweaver has imported another stylesheet.css, this time from the Web Fonts Lobster folder. And the Web Fonts Lobster folder has now been created in the Files panel. And if you expand that, again we have the different font formats and a separate stylesheet.css. What you see here in Design View is my first fallback font, Brush Script Standard. If you don't have that font installed on your computer, you won't see that. But in Live View, Lobster is rendered correctly. Now let's say I change my mind about this particular font. I'm going to select H1 and Edit CSS Rule. And I will this time choose Aurelant Sans Bold to Homer Geneva Sans Serif. And just click OK. We've got a third stylesheet.css that's been imported, this time from Web Fonts Aurelant Sans Bold folder. And if we go into the Files panel and refresh, there is Aurelant Sans Bold and all the files and its associated stylesheet. But although Lobster is no longer being used in this page, the stylesheet for Lobster is still imported and the files for Lobster are still in the Files panel. I've now got three different external stylesheets, all with the same name, stylesheet.css, 
attached to this page, and each one contains the at font face rule defining that particular web font. If you don't want all these external style sheets being attached, you can simply copy the at font face rule and paste it into your main style sheet, but it's important that the at font face rule comes before you use any of the web fonts. Each time that I've used one of my custom font stacks that contain web fonts, I've used the CSS rule definition dialog box, and Dreamweaver has automatically imported the related style sheet and at font face rule. And the same happens if you select a font stack in the properties pane of the CSS styles panel, or if you use modify page properties. However, if you spend a lot of time working directly in code view, Dreamweaver handles web fonts slightly differently. Let's quickly create a page to show you what happens. I'm just going to save this as no import. And I'll create a style block in the head of the page. And quickly create a body rule. And set font family to one of my font stacks. Let's just use Arlent Sans regular. And there I have created my rule, but Dreamweaver has not created an at import rule. This isn't a bug, it's the way that Dreamweaver has been designed to work. The thinking behind this is that if you're working exclusively in code view, Dreamweaver expects you to want to take more control over the way in which your styles are created and handled. So if you use code hints for font family exclusively in code view, Dreamweaver does not automatically import the web fonts or the at font face rule. However, if you use the CSS rule definition dialog box, the properties pane of the CSS styles panel or page properties and select a font stack that includes fonts installed using the web fonts manager, Dreamweaver automatically creates an at font face rule to import the different formats and copies the font files to a web fonts folder in the site root.